All right, good attack day. You know, it feels good to have seven days to prepare for a team or, uh, you know, compared to a short week. So I feel like our guys are, are locked in on point, had, you know, some good red area work and third down work today. So more from Dylan this past week, Dan, from one hash to the other out. Did you hit uh, Evan three or four times on throws like that? Not unusual, per se, just more this past week. Explain to fans, like, just how difficult to throw some of those are. Yeah, I mean, any quarterback that can work sideline to sideline, you know, a lot of the outside throws you don't necessarily see in the college games. So when you have a guy that can do that, I mean, it's a big weapon. Can you talk more about what an extra day means for you guys in terms of, I mean, is there anything you can share in terms of what that yeah, just in general, when, you, when you're in a short week, you lose a day of prep, right? This allows us to, you know, really be able to hone in on each piece. And, and not that that doesn't happen in a short week. It's just a little bit condensed when it comes to time. And practice reps, for sure, right? You have a, a, one less practice that you can take advantage of. So we get, we get an opportunity to hit every one of those situations. Dan, Dan in your time here, the, the defensive front has probably seen the largest improvement from two and a half years ago. Two and a half years ago to today, is that just straight personnel differences? Are you guys coaching something different? How, where would you attribute just that that large? Group? Yeah, I, I think it's a combination, right, of, of you know talent acquisition, the way we're coaching, our guys understanding, uh, you know, what we want to accomplish on the field um, and execute. And what's going to be the key for those guys to convert TFLs against this team that gives up a lot of them to turnovers that they don't commit very many? Of? Yeah, they do an unbelievable job taking care of the ball, and they do a great job of attacking the ball on defense. So it's it's, it's definitely one of the indicators in this game of if success, um, something we have to continue to, to uh, attack and attribute. So we practice it, and, and hopefully it shows up on game day. Dylan's completing 62% of his passes that are 20 yards or further through the air. Why is he so accurate in those types of throws. It makes it so good at that. Yeah, I just think decisive, knowing where he's taking the ball, um, and then having guys up, up top that can go win when you get those opportunities. We have some wideouts that'll go win and, and go attack the ball in those situations. Dan, Devin Jackson, somebody who's been taking advantage of his opportunities this season. Um, getting to know him the last couple of years, what can you say about just him as a person, the locker room presence? Yeah, I just love his, uh, love his, you know, Mindset, the way he attacks. He's a fun guy to coach. He's a fun guy to be around. His teammates enjoy him, um, and he's improving. You know, he's cons consistently improved from his time here, so it's showing up on the field. He has scored five times touchdown wise in the, in the red zone this past week, but some of the short yardage right through the red zone, third down, it's just an area to possibly improve a little bit in the run game. Just what are some areas that you hope to try to improve there, particularly short yardage in the red zone? Yeah, I think especially when you play a team like this, it, you know, I would say they're an identity team. They have a clear identity that they want to be more physical than you, and those situations are situations that we have to be able to win. Is there any update on Trishon availability? Yeah, he'll be available. When, when you've had such success at this program over the years with transfer quarterbacks, how, how does that change the conversation you have when recruiting freshman quarterbacks out of high school? Yeah, I think the biggest key is development. What's our quarterback look like and have they developed when they've come here, right? And uh, regardless of what, what their situation getting here, are we developing quarterbacks to become better players? And I think uh, you've been able to see that in our program. I think the Coach Schwank still stick with you or do you think sticks with Robbie 20 years later? It, in terms of what? Anything from your days at Jewel? Just enjoy my time. Yeah, enjoy my time getting to uh, play for him. You think that Jewel 9 is in any way torn in their allegiances this weekend? No. <laughs> Won't be allowed back to 30A if they are? No. Yeah. All right, thanks, Appreciate it.